a pretty interesting matchup. I don't <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, you know, I've never played this matchup weirdly enough. This seems like the, the 2 a.m. I've had you know, several drinks of <laughs> playing with my friends, like For matchup, sure. right? But so game number one between Swagged or Swagged, I don't, I'm not quite sure, and Mega, who's rocking the Incineroar, obviously Swagged with the um, K rule. Oh, this is Swag, formerly known as Swag. Yeah, I mean, the Incinero is put together. Some real combos here. I mean, oh, he's yeah. on basically an 80% run here without taking a hit from uh, the K roll. Really great back air. Yeah, K roll already at 120%. He's at the ledge. And Mega just looking for this up smash. Yeah, I mean, uh, the K roll does manage to get his crown back even after kind of a, a bad throw off stage. And, you know, throws the crown gone again. And that's punched on the up smash. Yeah, that jab is so strong. I mean, it's not gonna kill from across the stage, but if you were like center stage or even at the le at the edge, like you're dead. <gasps> Broken oh. shield from that down smash, but the forward smash completely whipping. I'm wondering, uh, you know, Swaggit doesn't look like he has uh, many like shield break setups yet. He just kind of went for the quick and easy punish, not enough to kill. All right. Come yeah, I would have liked to see him run that all the way over the ledge with the grab smash and that, you know, trying to get a little bit more distance off of it. Um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't do that, and then he gets cleaned up by Mega. Yeah, absolutely. Using that command grab, definitely at uh, such a high percent percentage that he was sitting at, he was not going to survive that at all unless Mega messed up the input and got the uh, the uh, early hit or the or the super late hit. And do you know how the uh, command grabs interact with Daryl's uh, super armor? He should just be able to grab it. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a it's a command grab and not not a hitbox. That does take away a really large advantage of okay, rules that you know, he's kind of basing certain in those super armor moves and try and you know, get a punish off of so sure. He's getting command grabbed off of it. That's not a uh, not great. Oh, gone. Yes, he is. And it looked like he was going to survive a little bit longer, but he jumped straight into the blast zone. Swag down to his last stock here. And Mega with two stocks and a really, really healthy percentage. In fact, only 11. There's a Darkest Lariat. I need to learn those wrestling moves. Because <laughs> I heard that's like technically a Lariat, but like no one calls that a Lariat. Yeah, I mean, those are some hype move names if you can get him. Uh Get him down. I, I, know, like I know the dash attack is the, sh the Shining Wizard. I want to <laughs> see some Shining Wizards right now. All right, so we got a little bit of a revenge on board. Yeah, I mean, he's been holding that revenge for a little while. He hasn't managed to connect anything off of it, but I, mean, I think if he gets one good attack, yeah. it's going to do some real damage. Yeah, you can see he went from 60 to 115 pretty much off of one command grab. Uh, the next command grab will do it, and I'm pretty sure we might even see it. After all, like Mega has been just throwing it out. Yep, that's gonna be the stock. Just as I said it, two stocks, 90% for Mega, and the first game goes to him and his Incineroar. Uh, yeah, you can tell that Swagged is kind of a little bit like scared of that command grab. It, it is a scary matchup the, um, playing against Incineroar, especially if you haven't had too much experience against him because. You, the threat of that and the revenge, like he has like a counter that basically like buffs him and he can like, he can stack it and then one grab. I'll, I'll tell you this, I, I stacked two revenge, I mean I stacked two wolf blasters once and did 80% off of one command grab, oh. off of one side beat. Yeah, so it's it's nuts, man. The maximum multiplier for that is like 3.2 or something. Yeah. So it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Um, for the revenge there, actually, off of the neutral beat to start. For sure, yeah. Nope, and he does it right there on the up tilt. A grab, of course, that's gonna be a, uh, able to get rid of the revenge stat buff. Uh, the ways that you can get rid of revenge are by either grabbing, by, uh, so grab, grabbing the Incineroar will get, get rid of Revenge. Uh, when one minute elapses, the Revenge will be gone. Uh, and if you do 32%, the Revenge will be gone. Also, if Incineroar dies, it will be gone. But I mean, if, it, if he still had it after Hopefully that, you're not spending it that way. <laughs> right, so yeah, Mega already moving up a stock right here, as I was saying, all everything. And he is able to use the armor to come down through the up airs. Yeah, and uh, I mean, he gives up the crown now here, so hopefully Mega can make something off of it. But he almost gets eaten just off the back of the stage. And uh, yeah, he's still holding on to this crown. He's, you know, I feel like it's really difficult when you play K Rule to not over centralize yourself around the crown. Sometimes you just start being like, let's drop the crown, I gotta use it. Yeah, it's, it's such a good move. I mean, like, it, it is like a. 
does kind of like eliminate a lot of K Rule's game plan. Yeah, definitely taking taking that option away from him is, is really strong. But oh yeah, uh oh, right. that's a bad up B, and he's gonna get an F smash. Yeah, for hard punish right there. Mega looking for the off stage play. That goes down. That up B is really good though. Getting another close liner right here, sitting at 74%. Swag down to his last life. Yet to find a stock here on Mega. Yeah, Mega was trying to just stay patient, try and keep him up above him, and uh, yeah, he's good. Oh. just go for the cheese a little bit. Doesn't quite fall for it, but does get caught after. Oh, uh, there's a command grab that might, yeah, yeah. Come off. I think that was a little bit of misdi. Yeah, there. bad di for sure. But that's that's all she wrote, man. Two o for Mega. Mega's got to be the guy who was wearing the Isabel shirt, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, hey. like I can only I, I can only guess. Just in general, uh, a cat person. Or yeah, right. Isabel's a cat, right? I don't know. Uh, actually, Isabel's a, Isabel's a